Question 2. Consider the following table as shown on the screen. We have elements, atomic number and mass number. Which of the elements is halogen? Now, for an element to be a halogen, it must belong to group 7. And how do you know an element belongs to group 7 when you are given the atomic number and mass number? You use the atomic number to write the electronic configuration. If the number of electrons in its outermost shell or in its valence shell is 7, then the element is in group 7 or is a halogen. Right? So what we are going to do here is to write the electronic configuration of all the elements given here using the atomic number. So for P, P is atomic number 9, so that's a 2, 7, Q, Q is a 13, that's 2, 8, 3, R is 16, that's 2, 8, 6, X is 19, that's 2, 8, 8, 1 and y is 24 24 since it's beyond 20 that's the transition element so uh, we are not going to use the k element notation to write its electronic configuration so let's leave it that way this one is already a transition element okay so out of these four that we have written the only one that has seven electrons in its outermost shell is seven it's a, sorry is p which means that P is the halogen. So each of the elements is the hal halogen. So the answer is what? P. Now, from here, you could see that P belongs to group 7, period 2, while Q belongs to group 3, because the number of electrons in its outermost shell is 3, and it belongs to period 3, period 3 because it has 3 shells, while R belongs to group 6 with 6 valence electrons, and period 3, 2, 3 shells and x is um, group one it has one valence electron and period four four shells please even if you know the element that has atomic number nine which is fluorine that is aluminium don't write fluorine in your answer use the notation given to you in the question which is what p all right so the answer is p so let's move to the next question is the continuation of that question which of the elements is most likely to be attracted by a magnet remember i told you that y is a transition element because based on your syllabus since more than 20 from 21 to 30 are transition word elements right and since this one has an atomic number of 24 that it is a transition word element fine because if you write its electronic configuration using the spdf notation that's 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s2 and this will be 3d4 that's 3d4 that is meant to be 3d4 but it's not actually going to be 3d4 rather it will be what from here to 3p6 that is argon that's 18 so it'll be argon 4s1 3d5 it gives us what chromium that is the electronic configuration of what chromium so take note of that in case you're asked to write the electronic configuration of chromium this is it and not this this is the correct one and not this so coming back here so which of them is attracted by a magnet this is the transition element has a partially filled d orbitals which means that it has unpaired electrons in its uh, orbitals then the answer is likely to be what why but the answer is why not likely to be why because it's a metal it also has partially filled the orbitals which gives it it's a paramagnetic property right the next question which of the elements belong to group one which of them belongs to group one remember you said this is two eight eight one and we said is in what group one and period four so the answer is what x one to the next question each of the elements readily form an ion with a double negative charge take note of this double negative charge for it to be double negative charge that must be what a non-metal because it's only non-metals that will form what ions with negative what charges so a double negative charge for it to form a double negative it means it must have six electrons in its outermost what, shell and will be able to what accept two electrons in order to complete its octet structure so from the electronic configuration that we wrote r that's 286 286 
is the element with six electrons in its outermost shell. So this element can gain two electrons to become 288 with the symbol R2 minus. So the answer to the question is what? R. Next question. What type of bond would exist between J and X when they combine? We are told J is in group 7, it's a halogen, so it's the non-metal, right? And since it's in group 7, it will form J minus as its ion, right? When it gains one electron to complete outermost shell. While X is in group 1, being in group 1 it is what? A metal. And of course, when it loses its valence electron, it forms X plus. So when J and X combine, or when X and J combine, that will be X plus and J minus. That will be X, J. So a metallic atom and a non-metallic atom will combine to form an ionic world compound because in the compound, a positive metallic ion and a negative non-metallic ion will be what formed, right? A cation and an anion, or what we call two oppositely what charged ions two oppositely charged ions will be what formed as a result of their combination and that compound or the type of bond formed as an attraction between two oppositely charged ions is called an ionic bond so the answer is ionic word bond and the compound is an ionic word compound and since we are asked for just the bond is ionic bond all right so the next question how many neutrons are there in Q? How many neutrons are there in Q? Q, Q has mass number of 27 and atomic number of 13. How do we calculate neutrons? Neutrons is calculated as, uh, sorry, neutrons calculated as what? Atomic number, sorry, mass number minus atomic number. So, what's the mass number of Q27? And what's the atomic number of Judas 13? 27 minus 13. That gives us 14. Simple. So the answer is what? 14. Next question. Next question. What's the formula of the compound formed when R combines with X? R is a 2 H6 and gains 2 electrons. So R plus 2 electrons, 2 H6, will give us what? R2S. That's 288 while x will lose its only electron in the outermost shell that's 2881 to form x minus 288 so when x minus and r sorry x plus not x minus x plus so when x plus and r2 minus combine that's one and two exchange of radicals so this will give us what x2 r x2 r that will be the formula of the complex x to r not r to x it's not r to x because you always write the positive component of the compound first in its formula before writing the negative component next question state the element which exists as the atomic word molecule now for the element to exist as the atomic molecule it must either be in group 7 that's the halogen or it must either be hydrogen nitrogen oxygen right or any of the what any of the halogens any of the halogens and when i say any of the halogens we mean what fluorine chlorine bromine and what iodine and of course from our earlier analysis the only element here because none of this is hydrogen nitrogen or oxygen right and the only one here that is a halogen is j which has an atomic number of what nine and that is what fluorine so any other element here from q to y is not any of these seven elements listed here because there are the seven diatomic word molecules right that we have so any other one that is not here is not a diatomic molecule so the answer here is what j which is fluorine okay next question the last question here says select the element which belongs to the d block of the periodic table for the element to belong to the d block of the periodic table it must be a transition word element right fine i already stated that and it will have what electrons in the d orbital right and from the analysis i made earlier of course we saw that element y fits into that description because of its electronic configuration 
of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, and 3d5. Yes, so this is the element or that is the element that will be found or that belongs to the deep block of the periodic word table because it is a transition element. Transition elements are elements with partially filled d orbitals. So that's what element what y. If you're able to learn anything from this tutorial, give us a like, subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell if you are yet to do so. Also, don't forget to leave a comment. Remember, God cannot relate with you beyond the scope of your mind. So keep developing yourself until I see you when I'll see you.